Is humanity able to know of what is within the heart and minds of men and women? It is said that, only God knows the heart of men and women. This implies also that, no man or woman knows what is ensued within their own hearts, as either a device for liberation unto heaven, or the nature given by the divine of being an irredeemable soul, whom is destined of the fires of hell and punishment. This implies that either man or woman will in truth, ever in fact come through time to know themselves precisely, but are condemned morally and eternally due of having the lack of humanity in their actions because of never knowing their given heart conclusively, while never the allowing of knowing the full nature and potential of themselves in terms of moral understanding, potential and thus, capabilities. Therefore, those who are created and deemed to go to this hell, which religion claims, was immorally conceived and manifested within the will of injustice and lack of compassion in never applying them the nature of overcoming the evil within. Given a life existence which is condemned and therefore intended to morally fail by way of his or hers act of immorality? However, evil gives identity to goodness, the same as goodness give identity to what is deemed evil. As this continues, the human family will in time become wise enough to think for themselves from what has been produced and given. It gives a clear fundamental meaning of the words of Yeshua, Forgive them Father, for they know not what they do. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord, and the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burnt among them. And the Lord's anger was kindled on that day, and he swore, saying, And the Lord's anger was kindled against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness forty years, until all the generation that had done evil in the sight of the Lord, was consumed. God's anger in having to be kindled in a time, implies God not knowing precisely of what could transpire of the actions of the human being within the course of time. As that designated time was and is designed as a prophetic reality, Anger is present inside, however an act against God's pleasing is that which kindles the anger to be made to be executed. This and the design of prophecy serves as a contradiction in principle. God having been accused of being the sole author of prophecy, in asserting to know what will transpire as the author, has a time of when its anger will be kindled, as if God is surprised, displeased or dissatisfied in the actions of the observed and yet designed in terms of a participant of acts against God's will? This implies that God, even though professed is the author of the doctrine of prophecy, is in fact not the all-knowing. The doctrine of prophecy serves as a tool for government tyranny. As this should not be a sudden revelation considering the Bible being authorized as required reading by the political powers. James I, who was born June 19, 1566, in the Edinburgh Castle Edinburgh, Scotland. He died March 27, 1625, in Theobalds, Hertfordshire, England. King of James was a strong advocate of royal absolutism. What is absolutism? It is the acceptance of or belief in absolute principles in political, philosophical, ethical, or theological matters. Absolutism is the political doctrine and practice of unlimited centralized authority and absolute sovereignty, as vested especially in a monarch or dictator. The Ten Commandments The United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights what are the main ideas of absolutism? Absolutism, political doctrine and practice of unlimited, centralized authority in absolute sovereignty, especially as vested in a monarch. Its essence is that the ruling power is not subject to regular challenge or check by any judicial, legislative, religious, economic, or electoral agency. This has been imbued and therefore, injected, into religious doctrine and therefore used as a tool for to go in harmony with the aims of any government system whose fundamentals are intertwined with the assertions of religious doctrine in terms of, prophecy. In this form of miseducation, the people have been, and are deceived. And as before, the people know not what they do, 
even though through the centuries of the deception of information being the device for evil intentions, they have been programmed and conditioned through tradition, that they know what they are doing to manifest the heaven which they desire and been made to think and feel the government systems abroad the earth with the same agenda through the UN Charter, are working in tandem of their personal interest for peaceful times coming forth, and yet, the world is within a state of hell, because the kingdom of God inside of the minds and hearts of the human family, has been invaded and contaminated with the intentions and ill-education of Babylon. What those who have died to themselves as they were and have stepped outside of the workings and activities of the world system and its effects upon the human family, are able to perceive precisely a world being led into darkness, asserted as the light and way, because the people of God and therefore, human beings of good will, have been made blind by way of innumerable methods of destruction, giving themselves to those devices becoming tools of their own self-destruction. But, as you already understand, this all can be turned around with the choice of dying to what is activating inside of the mind of the human family, so that what has life is able to shine from the hearts of men and women, to create the heaven which we all know and understand is the dawning of resolution and the peace upon Mother Earth of those who desire humanity instead of tyranny, are enabled to exist. Written by David Anthony Brayboy